According to an article penned by Shahir Aniz for Reuters International, Sri Lankan President Mahinda Rajapeska has been using photoshopped images of himself with a pulp to gain favor in his upcoming re-election bid. Sri Lanka is a mostly Buddhist nation, and Mahinda is unpopular amongst minorities in his country, including Catholics who feel he has done little to investigate attacks by extremist Buddhists on mosques and churches. He has already served two terms and is very popular amongst the Buddhist majority. However, in his bid to achieve a third term, he has opposition in the form of former health minister Mithrapala Sirisena, who has recently resigned to announce his campaign in opposition to Mahinda. When posters and cutouts began to appear featuring such slogans as Blessings of the Holy Father, You Are Our President, Victory for You, the Committee of the Sri Lankan Catholic Church, who is in the midst of preparing for an upcoming papal visit, released a statement reading in part, We earnestly request respective authorities and persons to remove these political posters and cutouts immediately and urge all the political groups to refrain from using either the Holy Father or his visit to Sri Lanka for the political campaign of the presidential election. A law known as the Jewish Nationhood Bill has created quite a stir in Israel and abroad. The proposed legislation comes directly from Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu and has gone through several revisions, but in each iteration the basic premise is to standardize the nation-state of the Jewish people. Among those upset by the bill is Ahmed Tibi, an Arab Muslim Knesset member and leader of the political party Ta'al, known as the Arab Movement for Change. Criticizing the bill, which passed a preliminary cabinet vote on November 23rd, TB said the nationality bill is totally proof of what I said during the last decades, that in Israel, Israel is democratic towards Jews and Jewish towards Arabs. Among others who are unhappy with the bill is U.S.-based Jewish Anti-Defamation League. Kenneth Bandler, a league spokesman, said the proposed Jewish state bill is ill-conceived and ill-timed. Included in the list of those who have reservations about the proposal are the Reform and Conservative Movements, the National Council of Jewish Women, and the Jewish Council for Public Affairs. Meanwhile, the Zionist Organization of America has expressed support for the bill. The bill also faces opposition within the Jewish contingent of the Knesset. Finance Minister Yair Lapid and Justice Minister Zippy Livni oppose the bill so vehemently that it has brought the Israeli government to a tipping point. Many suspect that the legislative body may soon dissolve, and by the time the story goes to air, the government may well be in full-blown collapse. Since he took control in 2002, Turkish President Tayyip Erdogan has worked hard to make the country take a hard turn towards religiosity. When there is no such thing as religious culture and moral education, serious social problems such as drug addiction and racism fill the gap said Erdogan during a recent symposium on drug policy and public health. One change he has made brought about the promotion of the Imam Hatip schools. From a lowly 65,000 students in 2002, there are now nearly 1 million enrolled pupils. Boys and girls are taught separately in these religious schools and receive about 13 hours of Islamic instructions, including studies in Arabic, the Quran, and the life of the Prophet Muhammad. The president's drive to bring about a more Islamic Turkey displeases his opponents as well as parents who see in their public schools lose space to the Imam Hatip institutions. Ilkner Bayral, spokeswoman of the Don't Touch My School organization, said, We're against the governance of education by religious rules. This system is not rooted in youth with a forward-looking perspective enlightened by science, but in a generation that values obedience.